to install T's, Y's, and different types of elbows, a lot of times people install these really common fittings in the incorrect spots. Here's a standard sanitary T installed in the correct orientation. You can see how this side is horizontal and this side is vertical. You will usually see this connecting a P-trap to a vent. So you have this inside the wall and then you have your P-trap wall elbow at least two pipe diameters away from the fitting. So if you have an inch and a half, you need to have it at least three inches away from the T-fitting. So now the water can go down to the P-trap, go through the trap arm, go down to the main drain, and then it could get fended through a little air admittance valve or a vent that goes to a stack or straight up to the roof. Now there are times where these standard sanitary T's aren't allowed. And that's on its back or on its side. And the reason for that is this can easily clog and it'd be a lot harder to snake with a short sanitary T. If you need to connect three pipes like this, you must use a Y in a 45 degree fitting. You can see how we made our own T fitting by doing this. Now there are times where this is not even allowed and that's upright connecting a P trap to a vent. So you have this inside the wall like the T fitting was See there, it looks fine, but there are many issues. As the water goes on through this P-trap, this 45 degree elbow connecting to the Y will fill it with water and it'll siphon the trap seal out of this P-trap, letting sewer gas into the building. Even if this vent is here, it'll still happen because of that 45 degree elbow filling up with water. Now they do make Double T fittings, and these are pretty much the same, can only be used upright, cannot be used on their side. Here's a double Y fitting, cannot be used upright, but can be used on its side. Now they do make a Y and a 45 all in one. It's called a combo fitting. See how it pretty much mimics that Y and 45. And this is just like the 45 degree elbow and why where you can't use it upright. Now let's get into elbows. I'm first gonna talk about the different angles of elbows. So here's a 22 and a half degree elbow. This can be used like this, like this, and like this, and it can also be used on its side. Here's a 45 degree elbow. These are really common. We use like this, like that, and that can also be used on the side. All of these elbows can be used on their side. Here's a 60 degree elbow on its side, on its back, and a horizontal to vertical orientation. And then we have a very common fitting, the 90 degree elbow cannot be used like this. Some codes will allow it on its side, but it can be used like this. And they also make a long sleep version of this, which I'll get into. Now, a lot like the T-fitting, this could easily clog if installed on its back, and it'd be very hard to snake. That's why you're gonna wanna use this long sleep and see how it's almost impossible to clog and it could easily be snaked. This long sleep elbow is about 45 years old, but it's still pretty much the same. Now, if you want to, you can make your own 45 your own long sweep by taking two 45s, putting it together, and you can see how he made a long sweep. These are a lot longer, so they might be harder to install in tight spaces, but if you can, take advantage of it and make your own long sweep. Now, there's sometimes you can't use certain types of elbows, and that's on a vertical offset and a trap arm. So you have a P trap, and this vertical offset is not allowed because it'll siphon out the P trap like the Y and 45 did from earlier. Now you can use vertical offsets, but when a P trap is not nearby, as you can see, there's these two four inch 45 degree elbows and there's no P trap nearby, so I'm okay to do this. But make sure there's no P trap when doing this. Now, one thing I forgot to mention is you can use an offset in a P trap but it has to be a horizontal offset. It can't be vertical in any way.